Hey there, and thanks for watching. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to brief a lease with the help of ChatGPT. Now, if you're familiar with this series, we have been exploring use cases for natural language models like GPT-4, ChatGPT, or Google Bard, or other natural language models in commercial real estate. And most recently, right, we, we looked at a chat GPT plugin, a Zillow plugin that I used as essentially an analyst. And today I'm going to do a similar exercise. Chat GPT is going to act as my analyst. I'm going to feed it a PDF of a commercial real estate lease, and it is going to brief the lease, meaning extract all of the key data points that I need in order to fully understand the lease. Now I, w I must caution you a few things. First off, if you're feeding confidential information to uh, OpenAI, ChatGPT, that now is going into a database that uh, may or may not be used. And, and so I would caution you about that. The least we're going to use today is public record. Um, but what, I'm, what really the purpose of this video is to, to give you a, a glimpse into where this technology is going and how it can truly change commercial real estate. And so uh, we're going to be using, again, as with that previous video, GPT-4, that's the most recent model that uh, OpenAI has, is powering ChatGPT with. And then we're going to activate plugins. And plugins essentially give ChatGPT access to data sources that allow it to then um, you know, use those data sources in new and unique ways. So in the case of Zillow, Zillow gives it access to all of its data, and we use that to pull comps for some property tax analysis. In this case, we're going to feed it a PDF, uh, and then we're going to ask it to extract the, the most important data points from that PDF. So that's the first thing I do. Now, the, the plugin I'm going to be using here is the Ask Your PDF plugin. And there's one little nuance to this, and, and you discover this as you begin. Uh, if I were to start right now and just simply say, hey, I have a lease abstract that I need help in understanding, or I have a lease that I need help uh, abstracting, briefing, uh, it would prompt us with a link. It would say, come to askyourpdf.com forward slash upload. And this is where we feed in the document that we want it to analyze. So in this case, I'm going to feed it a document. Let me actually show you what that document looks like. It is, again, a lease. Now, this is a... GSA lease. The U.S. federal government has a, a department called the GSA, and the GSA is responsible for managing all the real estate that the federal government either leases or owns. And as a result, all of their leases are public record. You can go online, you can search hundreds of leases, read hundreds of leases. Now, this particular lease, and it really doesn't matter, I just pulled it out of their database, is in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, and the GSA has already blocked out, call it the confidential information, as this document became public record. Uh, it was executed back in 2012. Uh, it is 55,246 rentable square feet. I believe the federal government is renting this from an owner whose name has been um, uh, removed. And then you see that uh, there, there's some terms here. So there's some 269 parking, service parking spaces, um, an additional 18 shall be surface space. Anyways, so you see there's some antenna. Uh, let's see, we've got rent here. Uh, it is a 12-year lease with a termination right two years prior to the end of the term. So it's 10 years of guaranteed term, two-year, call it a two-year option. Uh, there's And then the GSA has unique leases. In this case, we've got some shell rent and TI rent and operating costs, uh, kind of your triple nets, and then some security costs. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to look too much into this yet, but this is the document that we're going to be feeding ChatGPT. So the first step is, again, coming back to this askyourpdf.com forward slash upload. I'm just going to click this upload button. I'm going to grab that lease. It's uploading the lease and then it's creating a document ID that's going to feed to us here just in a second. So here we have the document ID. Please copy the document ID above and paste it into the chat GPT UI to have a conversation. I'm just going to copy that. I'll come back to chat GPT and let's start. So 
Uh, I have a commercial real estate lease that I need help summarizing. Please create a detailed um, lease abstract for the following lease. And then I just simply paste the docu ID. So this is how we're going to start. Now, if I were to do this in practice, uh, I would actually list out each of the points within the lease that I want it to find. Uh, in this case, let's see what it comes up with, but let, we'll let it choose. So I fed it in. Now what you're going to see is it's going to go to ask your PDF. Sure, I can help to create a detailed lease abstract. I'll need to extract key information from the lease. This includes details like names of the parties involved, the lease term, the rent amount, any rent escalations, the security deposit, the premises description, any renewal options, and any other significant clauses or provisions. Let's start by identifying the parties involved in the lease. I'll query the document for this information. Please wait a moment while I retrieve it. So it goes to ask your PDF. You retrieve the PDF that we uploaded that has this document ID. And now it begins to uh, brief it. Now, the lessor not explicitly mentioned that's because, again, the GSA had, had blacked out the name of the lessor. Uh, in practice, though, you would have the name of the lessor. So, uh, and, and then the lessee, of course, is the United States of America, represented by the General Services Administration, the GSA. It gives us some property details, uh, the name of the building, where it's located, the nature of the premises that are being leased, 55,246 rentable square feet, yielding 48,040 office area, square a feet of office and related space located on floors one through two and partial floor three known as suite 300, right? So uh, the lease term, remember how I said 12 years, uh, 10 years firm, that's that idea that the GSA has a termination right at the end of year 10. And then here we have the rent. Government shall pay the lessor an annual payable rent monthly in arrears at the rates of, and they have these rates, uh, now, what I noticed here is they didn't detail out the rent. Uh, other considerations, they talk about parking. Uh, lessor shall provide to the government in exchange for the payment of rental and other specified condition, the leasehold interest in the property, all costs, right? Termination rights, um, renewal rights not specified, tenant allowance, the tenant improvement allowance for purposes of this lease is this amount. Please note that the name of the lessor is not explicitly mentioned in the abstracted text. And then let's ex let's ask for, for a bit more. Great. Uh, could you um, detail out the rent? Oh, could you share the rent in more detail? I believe it consists of multiple parts, e.g. Um, operating costs, tenant improvements, etc. And it should detail out now that table. Let's find out. It's going back to the document. Uh, and if you're curious, you can pull this open. You can see what it does. Okay. It queries, queries the document, drops the entirety of the document here. And out comes, okay, now we have shell rent. The rent for the lease is broken down into several components. The shell rent, and if you recall up here, uh, the rent details, 876, that's just the shell rent. So I'm glad we asked this. Uh, there's also tenant improvements rental rate. This is the portion of rent that covers the cost of the tenant improvements. So there's 230,000 of tenant improvement rent, uh, operating costs at 263, building specific security costs of 7289. The total full service rate, which includes all of the above components, is 1,377,414.66, equivalent to rental, rentable per square foot for years one through 10, and then uh, equivalent to 20.62 in years 11 through 12. And that's because for years 11 through 12, there are no building specific security costs. Uh, for years 11 through 12, the operating costs remain the same. For years 11 through 12, there are no tenant improvement costs. And then for years 11 through 12, the shell rental remains the same. So shell rent and operating costs persist beyond 10 years, but the TI and the building specific security burn off after year 10. And it provides that additional uh, analysis. Now, 
Let's finish with uh, an optimization tool. Excellent. Could you summarize all of this data in a table that I can copy and paste into Excel? Let's see if it can do that. Sure, here's a summary of the rent details in a format that you can copy and paste in Excel. So now it's creating a table for us. And this is just the rent. So, yeah, but it, it, it's still interesting, right? So we get the full service rate. The, the, the point is, oh, actually, let's see what it's doing now. Oh, and this is the per rentable square footage rate. And then they have other detail. This is cool. Right, so you can imagine you could copy and paste this into, um, please note the values, okay, excellent. Please also do the same for the other lease abstract items you initially shared. And then it's gonna provide all of the above details into a table for us that, again, could be copied pasted into Excel. So that's another use case for ChatGPT and commercial real estate. Now again, let me reiterate, think of ChatGPT as a first year analyst who is only as good as A, the instructions that you provide to it and B, the training that it has received. And so while this is incredibly helpful at this stage of the technology, incredibly helpful to assess an, an opportunity up front. I certainly wouldn't rely purely on my first year analyst before making an investment decision any more than I'd, I'd rely on ChatGPT. But a great first step, a great way to accelerate the process of making investment decisions. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and we'll see you on the next one.